Hello guys and welcome back to the channel, thanks for tuning in. So today I'm going to be reviewing Diablo 3, the Eternal Collection for the Nintendo Switch. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So right off the bat, you do get an added feature in this game and that is the Ganondorf armor set. So I just wanted to let you know that straight off the bat. That is an added thing that you get into this game. So is this game a straight port and is it worth getting for the Nintendo Switch? Let's find out. So you do also get a 7th playable character in the form of the sadistic necromancer and every single update and tweak that's helped Diablo 3 realise its full enormous potential for the Nintendo Switch. Now you gotta bear in mind guys that this has also come out on the PS4, PC and Xbox and all that kind of stuff so having this game on the Nintendo Switch for myself, wow it's awesome. I've had a ton of fun on it, I've had some frame rate issues I'm not going to lie, especially when I was playing in handheld mode and things got a little bit hectic, there was some slowdown. But very mind you, not enough to spoil the gameplay or for me to be like oh this is unplayable and not enjoyable at all, it was very very enjoyable, I completed the game twice so far, was it twice, yes twice, I've completed the game twice, so yeah I've had a ton of fun, I mean the graphics look magnificent especially when you're playing in handheld mode on the Nintendo Switch OLED the colors really really pop so I just wanted to chip a little bit on the multiplayer of this game so both in the same room with local play and online was a breeze had a lot of fun now I did try to make that 60 frames per second dip to the lowest that I possibly could in docked mode didn't actually work it went down to about 57 to 55 frames per second and that was the most it dropped and that was only because there was three of us playing online and there's a lot going on it was a boss battle but aside from that like I mentioned earlier it was a breeze no hiccups encountered and it just carried on going I can't believe how much power and fun this Nintendo Switch was on the docked mode Talking about a little bit on the handheld side of things, I think I got about 4 hours of gameplay in handheld mode and that was when I was doing the campaign on my own which is a pretty decent time to be honest, especially in handheld mode on the OLED Nintendo Switch. So let's talk a little bit about the story mode. Now there is a story there in the single player campaign mode, it is a little bit boring I'm not going to lie and that's probably because I've actually played through this game several times now and I know the story at the back of my hand but the first time I did play the game I did enjoy the story so that's good to know that at least there's a campaign mode with a decent story, it's not the best but at least there's one there and if you're going to play it on your own you've got something to look forward to and the story is decent. I'm not going to get into the story and tell you what the story is about because I'm sure there's plenty of videos out there that you can watch that will tell you what the story is about. This is mainly just to show you that there is a you know a story, a campaign with multiplayer and a ton of fun. Loads of different character builds like I mentioned earlier and you, you know you've got to try them all and see what's best for you. That's the thing with this game. I was lucky enough for myself I believe that I picked the Necromancer straight away and I enjoyed the Necromancer and I've never really looked back. I have tried other ones as well but nothing comes anything close to the necromancer in my humble opinion uh, like i said a lot of people do beg to differ and they think the necromancer is weak in certain things that's true all the characters have strengths and weaknesses and for my playstyle the way i like to play the game i like to use the necromancer and you might like to use a different character and that might be the way you want to go with the game and that's totally understandable and you know it is what it is you can choose whoever you want to choose and play that way and that's the good thing you know you get loads of different character character builds to pick from and then you just go ahead and use that character and see how far you can get with that character for me the necromancer being able to play on single player mode and then going to multiplayer mode and using the same character is a lot of fun and it's just perfect for my playstyle like you get a little bit of magic abilities you get all the extra you know you can get those skeletons to come out and do all the attacks and stuff so for me, that was perfect and I love that kind of stuff uh, about this game and especially about the Necromancer. So for those of you who are not familiar with Diablo and want to know a little bit more about it, Diablo has a really straightforward and simple formula. You pick a character at the beginning who runs around from an angle top down perspective that some may call isometric and you command that character to do all sorts of things so they can use magic, they can bring the dead 
you know, back to life and use them to attack your foes. There's all sorts of different types of characters and abilities you can accumulate as you go through your progression in the game. So all that being said, now that you've got your character, you've picked out your armor, you've got your weapons and all your special abilities and whatnot, Excellent. how does this game actually feel? So in a word, it feels good. In several words, satisfying and rewarding and slightly repetitive like I've mentioned earlier. You'll be completing a lot of quests for various town folk, pushing the main storyline further, again like I mentioned there is a campaign, and stumbling into events that give you a quick challenge with the promise of some really awesome rewards, which is usually gold and loot. All of these th things done correctly by extinguishing as many enemies as possible as you crawl through the dungeons, deserts, hellish catacombs and all the things that this game throws at you, it's very very enjoyable and very very rewarding. Now I love the actual style of this game and the way the game actually works and plays. It actually plays and works extremely well in my humble opinion and I think that's why a lot of people do love Diablo. As myself speaking as well, I do love this game. But I gotta say, the first few hours of the game, especially chapter one, are a little bit slow and a little bit grindy. And it is set in like a very typical medieval style high fantasy town with zombies and skeletons and a lot of like repetitive gameplay, that being said. Now, once you get to chapter two, that's when things let up and you're allowed to explore a much more interesting set of landscapes and your ability increases so you get a lot more magic and stuff and you know access to all the good stuff the better armor pieces the other things that you can add to your character so it does actually get better as you go along but i had to mention that that first chapter is a little bit slow but you gotta stick with the game once you get past chapter one it will open up and you'll have a ton of fun i promise you so replayability with this game it depends on the person for myself like i said i played twice on my own and then i played with some friends i'm actually going through the campaign again on the nintendo switch with a couple of my friends so there's three of us playing it depends i'm having a ton of fun i'm definitely gonna go ahead and play this because there's so much to do like there's so much daily tasks and weekly tasks that you can join into and get more loot and all that kind of stuff so i'm all about that and this game really keeps you engaged in that sense so you, there's always something that's going to bring you back once you're into this game it's very hard to get out of and i remember playing it back in the day on the ps4 when it first came out it took me you know i was in there for months <laughs> it was like a whole another family when i'd go into that realm it's just me and my friends and we'll just play this game for hours on end and then i think it's starting again it's the same two friends that i played with back in the day we're playing through it again and it's just a ton of fun now also i did mention this earlier but i will mention it again with this version of the game it does include the ability to appear as the Demon King Ganondorf from Zelda. Also, you do get a nice little cuckoo who follows you around and picks up all the gold for you. So that's a little bit of fun on the side if you want to pick that as a you know a little character who just runs around and collects all the loot for you. Isn't that awesome? As promised guys, I'll show you a little bit of footage of me playing it in real time on my monitor. Now, I've totally had a lot of fun with this game. And like I mentioned, I am actually going through the campaign again with a few of my friends. Um, I did want to make some footage of us playing, but for some reason that footage got corrupted as I mentioned. Now, moving forward, there'll be a lot more videos about Diablo 3, especially on the Nintendo Switch version, because this is the version that's most easiest for me to access and stuff. So definitely watch out for some more videos on diablo 3 for the nintendo switch now i'm just going to wrap it up for you guys the verdict is for this game i'm going to give it a solid 9 out of 10. now i know that's a huge score for a game but diablo really ticks a lot of boxes for me and i have got a lot of uh, nostalgic feelings towards this game and i had a ton of fun with it back in the days on the ps4 when it first came out a few years ago and again now it's really sucked me back into the Nintendo Switch version and I've honestly had a lot of fun with it. So yeah, that being said, I'm going to let you guys enjoy some uh, footage on the good old Nintendo Switch OLED. Thank you so much for watching guys. Please like, share and subscribe if you haven't. A lot of you guys aren't still subscribed guys. Please subscribe to the channel and it does really help me out a lot.
Stay safe, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.